Alright. Hey. Hey there, YouTube. It's Pry Ryan. I'm going to show you today how to go ahead and set up your RAID 0. As you can see from my two side ports, they see the 240 gig. My two 240 gigs are going to be used for a C drive. So, um, if this doesn't work and you have an NVMe drive like I do, mine's through PCIe Express. PCI Express, I'm sorry. You're going to click on default and you're just going to reset everything so that way it will recognize it. I've seen that problem happen to me a bunch of times and I usually just go to default and then it finally recognizes it. So, what you want to do is go to PCH Storage Configuration, go from AHCI to RAID. I'm going to do this right now and then I'm going to go back to my default settings so it still sees my. Uh, Drive, then go back to easy mode, and you're going to want to go ahead and save it. If you have any questions, just go in there, go back in BIOS. You see that none of my things are in RAID. I have it rated in my uh, for Windows, it's rated, but it's not through the BIOS that I do that. Go right advanced. We're gonna go over to AI Tweaker. Not this one, I'm sorry. We're gonna go to easy tuning window. Now, you can do overclocking or rating. We're gonna raid. And we're gonna enable raid, hit OK. It's gonna do. It's gonna give me that. Now I'm gonna show you something. You're gonna hit control I. Alright. The reason why I hit control I is because if you do the rating in the other menu where you just saw that I can enable raid on it, if you do it in that raid, you will when you will not have a good time because it's going to want to raid all three of those devices. You want to do your rating through here. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit. Sorry, I got my keyboard mixed up in right here. You're going to hit enter. On create a volume, you're gonna go ahead and name your volume. I'm calling my Steam for my Steam drive. You're gonna hit enter. Raise zero is what you want. You're gonna select the disk. You're gonna enter. You see, I have all three disks. I'm gonna hit space on one, space on the other, and then hit. As you see, it says enter done. Then you have a menu down here. It says raid zero 128 kilobytes. So we're gonna go ahead and. I'm not going to hit enter like I did. We're going to go back if we can. It says tab for next. Tab for next. Okay, so you're just going to hit tab a bunch of times. We already selected it, so we're going to hit enter. We are going to go up. Press the up button to get it 120. Hit enter. Just hit enter. And you hit enter again. Are you sure you want to create this volume? I am pretty sure. So you're going to hit Y. And then there you go. You have your new array status is good it's bootable yes now I'm going to escape or exit and I'm hit yes now we are going to let boot hopefully it recognizes okay now you're going to want to go ahead and press cancel you're going to want to hit save and exit because you're going to still get this many, don't worry about it. It's because the third drive is not, you did not raid the third drive. Okay, we are booting up from Windows, so it does restore settings. Now we're just going to be. Okay, so this is what I've been talking about. It has not recognized my drive. Now, 
I'm going to go ahead and do the noble thing, and we're just going to save and exit. I'm just going to show you one more time. And this is the problem I've been having with my PCIe drive. So, it happens again, which it probably will. Yeah. Listen to drives, and it says, ah, time to go to BIOS. All right, I'm in the BIOS. So, I'm going to show you something simple. I'm going to go to default. Do hit OK. Save and exit. There we go. OK, blinked. There we go. You see, turn your default, goes ahead, and warns those updates. I will talk when it's done. Okay, so we are going to actually put a password in right now. Alright, log in. Now I'm going to show you my other way that I've learned. So you go ahead and you are going to type in administrative tools. Hit enter. Go to computer management. Go to disk management. Okay, we're just gonna go. Uh, we're gonna let it be HPT. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's not having a good time. This is my strike volume failed. I don't care about that really because we can delete the volume. Yes. Okay, that opens up these two drives. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a new strike volume next. We're going to click this and we're going to add so it has the two drives. Next, give it the letter S for Steam. Next, call it Steam because I am a special person who wants to call it Steam. This team is good. Yes. And it's going to sit here and start doing its magic moments. And I'll be right back for when it recreates it.
Okay, now you see that it went ahead and made two, well, made these two drives into one. If you don't believe me, all right, I call it ads. We're going to go to this PC, and you'll see that it made a Steam drive, which you can see over the side here. I kind of screwed up everything, so i got to reinstall Steam on all these games. So, I'll go ahead and fix that for my reasons. But, yeah, if you do not assign a letter to this, you'll not see it in this PC. So, if you ever have to fix it, you can go ahead and ch change drive letter and pass. And then change, and then you can change the letter to whatever you want. Make it Z for all I want. Okay. Okay. And makes it Z. So I'm just going to go back to my simple little S. And that's everything. If you guys have any questions, just feel free to comment below. And that is it for this tutorial. Thank you. Uh, also, I want to say like, comment, subscribe, and that's it for today. Everyone have a good day.